You know, for a man who all his life never put a wrong foot anywhere, you're way out of line, boy. That, that's me to decide, man. So just shut up and let me... You go. don't say that to me. You haven't got the right to ever say a thing like that to me, not after what I've been to you. You know that and I know that. Yeah, I know what you are and what you made of yourself. But you know I worked my ass off to get the money to buy you all the chances you had. You know how far I carried that bag in 30 years. 75,000 miles and mowing lawns in the dark so you wouldn't have to be stoking furnaces and could bear it out on the books. I tell you, there were things your mother should have had that she insisted go instead for you. And I don't mean fancy things. I mean a decent coat, a lousy coat. And you're going to tell me now that means nothing to you and you could break your mother's heart? Well, I don't care what your mother says. Maybe she's gone haywire, too. This is between you and me. That's the first thing you said that makes any sense, because that's exactly where it's at. Yeah, and what I mean to no, say is... No, you said what you had to say. You listen to me. You say you don't want to tell me how to live my life. So what do you think you've been doing? You tell me what rights I've got or haven't got and what I owe to you for what you've done for me? Let me tell you something. I owe you nothing. If you carried that bag a million miles, you did what you were supposed to do. Because you brought me into this world. And from that day, you owed me everything you could ever do for me, like I will owe my son if I ever have another. But you don't own me. You can't tell me when or where I'm out of line or try to get me to live my life according to your rules. You don't even know what I am, Dad. You don't know who I am. You don't know how I feel, what I think. And if I try to explain it the rest of your life, you will never understand. You are 30 years older than I am. You and your whole lousy generation believes the way it was for you is the way it's got to be. And not until your whole generation has lain down and died will the dead weight of you be off our backs. Dad, you're my father. I'm your son. I love you. This is Africa. Sydney Poitier, a journey of triumph and transformation. Sydney Poitier, a name synonymous with dignity, talent, and resilience, stands as a towering figure in the realms of cinema and civil rights activism. Born February 20th, 1927 in Miami, Florida. Poitier's life journey is a tapestry woven with threads of struggle, triumph, and an enduring commitment to breaking down racial barriers in the entertainment industry. This video seeks to unravel the intricate chapters of Sidney Poitier's life, exploring his early years, rise to stardom, impact on civil rights, and enduring legacy. While Sidney Poitier was born in Miami, Florida, his roots trace back to Cat Island in the Bahamas. Raised in poverty, he experienced a challenging childhood marked by difficulties in reading, a struggle later attributed to dyslexia. At the age of 15, he moved to New York City to live with his brother, seeking opportunities beyond the limitations of his circumstances. Poitier's introduction to acting 
was somewhat serendipitous. He initially auditioned for the American Negro Theater for lack of other options, having no prior experience in acting. Despite his struggles with reading, Poitiers' stage presence and raw talent were undeniable. This marked the inception of a career that would redefine Hollywood's perception of African American actors. Poitier's breakthrough came in 1950 when he landed a role in the Broadway production of The Sistrata. This marked the beginning of a series of successful Broadway performances, including Anna Lucasta, which garnered attention for his exceptional acting skills. His performances challenged stereotypes, offering nuanced portrayals that defied prevailing racial norms. Poitiers transition from stage to screen was a pivotal moment in Hollywood history. In the 1950s, the film industry was rife with racial stereotypes, limiting opportunities for black actors. Poitiers' role in No Way Out in 1950 marked the start of a film career that would shatter these stereotypes. Notable performances in The Defiant Ones in 1958 and Porgy and Bess in 1959 showcased his versatility and set the stage for his ascent to stardom. In 1963, Sidney Poitier made history by becoming the first African American to win the Academy Award for Best Actor for his role in Lilies of the Field. This landmark achievement was a watershed moment, signaling a shift in the industry's perception of Black actors. Poitier's dignified acceptance speech reflected not only his personal triumph, but also the collective aspirations of an entire community. Poitier's roles were not mere performances, they were transformative acts challenging the prevailing racial narrative in films like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner in 1967 and To Sir With Love in 1967. Also, he portrayed characters that defied racial stereotypes. These films were pivotal in initiating conversations about interracial relationships and challenging social norms. Beyond the screen, Poitier became a cultural diplomat, representing African Americans on a global stage. His dignified demeanor and eloquence made him an ambassador of change. Poitier's international acclaim contributed to altering perceptions of African Americans, not just in the United States, but around the world. Poitiers' commitment to civil rights extended beyond his artistic endeavors. He actively participated in the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963, standing alongside other prominent figures in the fight against racial injustice. His influence reached the highest echelons of power, engaging with political leaders to navigate and advocate for equality. In addition to his acting prowess, Sidney Poitier made significant contributions as a director. Uptown Saturday Night in 1974 and A Piece of the Action in 1977 marked successful directorial ventures, further solidifying his impact on the industry. As a director, Poitier continued to challenge stereotypes and provide opportunities for Black actors. Poitiers influence extended to the realm of literature. His autobiography, This Life, 
provided readers with insights into his remarkable journey. But here's narrative was not just a recounting of personal achievements, but a reflection on the broader social cultural landscape and the transformative power of storytelling. Over the years, Sidney Poitier received numerous accolades for his contributions to the arts and civil rights. In 2009, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom, recognizing his lifetime achievements and impact on American culture. Poitier's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame stands as a testament to his enduring legacy. Sidney Poitier's life journey is a testament to the transformative power of resilience, talent, and the commitment to social change. From humble beginnings to international acclaim, Poitier's story is one of triumph over adversity. His contributions to cinema, civil rights, and cultural diplomacy have left an indelible mark on American history. Sidney Poitier's legacy serves as an inspiration for aspiring actors, advocates for social justice, and anyone striving to overcome barriers and make a lasting impact on the world. In unraveling the life of Sidney Poitier, we discover not just a Hollywood icon, but a trailblazer who paved the way for generations to come, leaving an enduring legacy that transcends the silver screen.